With the Hero Project, I'm involved in the graffiti aspect of it. Um, I work with Mr. Basically to survive. And um, you know, in the end they find out that they can't exist separately. They have to you know, be together as one. With the Hero Project, we merge the two things where it's um, live performance and workshopping. So we're teaching young people how to do parkour, but at the same time use that in you know live shows and be able to use that for theatre purposes. We and are that kind of thing. a theatre that does programs, projects, training, um, mentorships, training programs for young people under the age of 25. What we're trying to look at overall in the HERO project is getting young people excited firstly about doing new work. So getting them excited about spray art, getting them excited about parkour and puppetry. We created the notion of this place which is kind of not here but somewhere around here. It's not now but maybe five years or ten years away from now when something's gone down and it's there's some odd creatures wandering around and they're called the extended ones because they've grown kind of woody bones and turned into giant puppets and um, and then you've got the the two parkour warring parkour factions the team Z and the team blue and then you've got these really weird kind of uh, smoky dark shadowy guys called the ciphers and they come out and they're all dressed in black all the time but they come out and do graph everywhere at the start of it when we first did it we were like so basically we're just making puppets that's what i thought it was but then Someone came in and told us, oh, you know, it's actually going to be a huge theatric performance, about like 20 minutes or something, or it's probably an hour, a whole day probably, I don't know. And then I'm like, okay, well, big news. Today is the uh, last dress rehearsal before the uh, first performance. Um, basically, we're just doing a you know, run through the show, you know, making sure we're, we've got everything you know, remembered. We're just working on our techniques, making sure we work together as a team. Just the finer points, really, to make this uh, performance really good. <laughs> I think the Hero Project, I've seen the young people develop, build their confidence. I've seen the artwork that's come out of that. I've also met people within the Hero Project from the parkour to the, um, you know, the puppetry and also street art. Amazing how they've been able to now have the opportunity to fuse it together as a production. really excited and uh, you know the guys worked pretty hard for this and I can't wait I can't wait for for it to all happen it's like uh, Hero Project is going pretty well for me and I'm enjoying it it's been lots of fun yeah learning lots of things and good for the guys to just come along. I'm overcoming my fear of heights. <laughs> I was carrying my puppet. Her name is River Song. But seeing people that we actually want to learn, that really inspires me and fires my heart up again for parkour. a more grown-up person in him. Uh, he's more self-confident. He's um, 
strong <laughs> and more calm and it made a lot of difference in his uh, personality, it did. One of the things that I noticed was like the parkour guys, like even from the rehearsal here in Bankstown, from the time of the, the first and second performance, was the standard was heaps more polished and, and um, everyone just seemed fitter and all that sort of stuff. For the graffiti artists, we didn't get any fitter. <laughs> but, um, but I think the guys got a little bit more skilled up and they got a little bit more sort of experience as to like what it's like doing a, a job, you know what I mean? Like working with the group and... Yeah, it was quite brilliant, quite brilliant, and a little bit scary because it was wet, so you didn't know how they were going to deal with the, with the slipping and sliding, but they were amazing. They really, they, they held themselves really well, so yeah. Now they're passing on the knowledge to each other to help get them move. And we've developed that really close-knit community and it's beautiful. You know, we're still hanging out afterwards, we'll probably do future shows together, some of us, you know, and it's, it'll be great.